Yeah. Let's see how it comes. Cloud immediately popped, and there is the instantaneous landing. Like the the way you're seeing a uh, challenging of the game plans here of uh, Akashi had three times in a row put Cloud near platform to prevent Starbos from uh, from getting started there. Because even though uh, uh, Orcane is a ground to air character, as you described, and I would agree with you on that, uh, Orcane's aerials are also really good for oh, yeah. converting into those tilts. Um, and an immediate like recovery here. You're seeing a threat with the cloud bombs and the dare not able to hack. Kashi up 49. Able to get the soft nair, uh, soft dare into nair. Like covering here, getting sweet spot. Look at this advantage state from Akashi. The coverage as well, like letting Starbos take the corner, but just anticipating the option they'll do out of it. And then you're see you're seeing the coverage, which Cloud here. Cloud is such a good off like. In every single part of play, Cloud is really useful in recovery, in, in, in recovery, in controlling space, and in advantage just as a follow-up and getting the parry here into the Cloud Bomb. Awareness, awareness there from Akashi, knowing that Forge Strong was enough hit stun in order to get the Cloud Bomb to pop in the nick of time as well. Just sheer control here in this game. Just holding here one. with Jab and forcing Orkane to teleport, but because of because of uh, the uh, the lag on Jab, uh, Akashi is able to get a follow up. You're this seeing a lot of down specials, a move that I know a lot of Absols Absols don't really like, and Akashi got stuck with it. Akashi is that's another cloud bomb, just holding it here. Look, one more because uh, uh, Orkane has to respect it. It has to be respected, otherwise you're forcing a teleport landing and, in that part. And this is a go next type of game because this is a. Uh... Starbos is has gotten lapped twice over, waiting for another air dodge read. Akashi making it even a little bit more difficult. I'm not gonna call it yet because it's, if the game's advantage state is insane, it's, it, it, one hand, one hit on other side could mean death. And Orkane's mobility is pretty okay on the ground, uh, and you're gonna see the cover with the down strong. Like uh, I enough, would 100 percent believe that uh, Starbos could bring this back because like that's just how this game works. Orkane advantage state's cracked and catching with the, uh, the the up strong on the tech. Um, I did like that though from Starbos teching a, a tech roll left on the platform with the direction that it was moving, trying to get out and away from the potential scenario that he was put in. Just the platform mm -hmm. not moving fast enough, and the clean overshoot there from Akashi to make sure that the up strong would fully connect. Amazing game one from Akashi. It looked extremely dominant. But sets are long in this game, and, and things can transform very quickly. I love the immediate crouch cancel on the opening play there oh. from Akashi. Starbos starting off with an over and looking pretty good. I feel like it's a very good pick from Starbos. Able to, like, having a lot of control over these platforms while edge guarding, as well as the shorter top blast zone, means a lot, especially with uh, very good kill options like down strong and uh, working up air, while forward strong is able to control a lot more space. Um, Though on the other side of recovery mix-ups on uh, Akashi's part with Absa, you can go to that top plat uh, platform uh, just as well as working can, and then the down tilt, missing the up air, parry on the... What's with the down strong? It uh, gets down tilt up uh, there anyway. Yeah, the setting up so, so long and playing the patient game, and that's what you have to do with Starbucks, right? Like, the amount of times that Akashi's going to... Like, zip off of the lip of the platform, and play all these mix-ups, wall jump as many times as possible, do all of that stuff is going to be innumerable. So you just need to find your proper punishes and play the waiting game sometimes. And that's this level of patience from Star Wars is a perfect answer from how game one went. Ooh, great parry. Good parry. No punish. Not able to get the attack <laughs> happens. And then and another down tilt upper on the side because if, 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 if you DI in, you get down tilt up air. If you DI out, you get down tilt back air. And that's just it. Uh, these these uh, black zones on the side and on the top are so suffocating, especially for Absa, who's very, very light. Um, able to control the space really well, getting the the Actil there, controlling the Cloud Bomb, gets hit by Cloud Bomb, able to attack, and catching with the up air. Same position as previous game, but inverted. Here. That line, the Akashi line is always so dangerous. <laughs> Akashi, like... Akashi, Akashi uses Thunder line oh, very wow. well. Uh, just like... Akashi's utilization of Cloud is really good. Um, my only matchup knowledge in terms of like good abses have been niceness and uh, watching Penguin sets. But Akashi's uh, control of space and utilizing Cloud in such smart ways with both Thunderline, the pop, and even as we're seeing a Cloud Bomb. Yeah. Um, a lot of utilization, a lot of air. different specials. Loving this advantage here from Akashi as well. And setting up for just continued threat. Missing a lot of these extra forward airs, but that's a stock again from Akashi. Looking pretty good here into the final game. The, the wings come out. 
the night, day turns to night. Let's see if Akashi can complete can complete the comeback. Back well, the, the still had fair. Or not still, still had still had the double jump. His double jump. Oh, we we're waiting another down air starter from Akashi. They have been finding so many of those great DI as well. Uh, okay. Surviving at 128. Oh the oh. Okay, puddle was gone as well. So if that back air landed, then it could have been a real, real ripe opening from Akashi there, but that just was like barely. the last frame. Uh, like if it was done any later, that up air, it would have hit. Or oh. the up tilt, it would have hit. That's tough. That's one tough. one. Some solid games going back and forth. Early starts that lead to some prolonged closings as Starbucks considers what to ban. Really? Like you ban Rock Wall. Yeah. Don't let no. <laughs> what do you mean banning Rock Wall? I mean It's a I mean Rock Wall is so good for both of the characters. Both characters. But because of how consistently Akashi has been setting up with these sweet spot bears, like it is not worth uh, going in. It's not worth trying to risk that when you can instead play into something with a little bit more flexibility on the strength. Uh, DSR is in effect, by the way, so we cannot go back to Jewel Fail. Akashi is taking, taking us to Drupal Pond. This is one of my favorite stages in the game. I love utilizing these platforms for, for juggles as well as just controlling that space. And you're seeing uh, Starbos utilize that really well with these back airs, but Akashi is able to fight back, getting Sour Dare, not able to get the, the fair off of it. A lot of Returning this top platform, Great. just tacking on that top platform, and the way they're recovering with these meteor, or the way they're trying to push the offensive with these meteor aerials aren't going to work out as well because of how big the platform is, and trying to cover those tech chases is going to be a lot harder. It's looking really back and forth here. The dash attack to force Akashi back off stage yet again, refreshing all of those resources on these platforms. Forward air, not able to get the double fair, but gets the down air, and it, I wasn't sure who purple there. That was clean from Akashi. Amazing coverage. They and immediately bringing it back with the parry. Still, that was very nice from Akashi to like recognize where they were unable to find stocks in the previous game with some of these uh, carry combos, and then turning it into something more. Yeah. It's a little bit early to be kind of cashing out on some of these reads you may have, but any stock lead is a good one when it comes to a tight and set. There's, there's the kind of like platform coverage you want where you're you're getting that media aerial, but it's safe enough that you can respond to whatever tech option they do. So if they if they don't tech, you got the hit, but if they do tech, you're immediately able to cover it with apps just having the apps having those really big normals like a dash attack covering or F tilt or even like just back air, which was used and now look at it, Akashi's up a lead, they're only 33% getting that that line put in a, a, such a safe position that he's still able to like recover to stage even if it was parried and now starting here yeah cooking for again another down air fainting it this time when you land one move so much you can start to operate neutral around it and that's been a really really solid here from akashi like just fainting so many of these landing aerials fainting so many of these down airs goes for it there but finds the proper punish those starbos and for the stock here, maybe able to find something like down. So just going, committing to the up air, but not going to land the, finish, the finishing blow. Look at these cloud bombs. Or you have to, these cloud big, bombs has been really big. good. Not able to get the, the up air. Just keeping neutral and then the DI from back air taking there he is. it. He's There's back. the fish, the fish. Mr. Fish. I didn't realize that. He's hanging out. He got fish. Double dash tag. <laughs> I heard I heard it in the crowd. Uh-oh, Orcane. And as it goes, as I it mean, goes. It... Look at it. Still got Puddle on deck. That jump away there was so good. Akashi covered... trying to anticipate Puddle control, but ends up giving it up in turn. Oh, tries to bait out with the up strong. This is really scary. Who will they get the rising up there? I wonder if that was, okay. I was gonna say it was like, Maybe, was that a bait of some kind where I think you it was, saw like the, the parry was, to give a false sense of security? So, so there's been a lot of uh, Starbo swinging with down tilt at ledge. So it was, right. a, it was a hurt box extension thing. So even though Orcane down tilt is really safe, uh, Absa's up air is so big that it was able to oh, catch no, it not, even but, behind. Not, oh, not that. The, not so that. the parry on the thunder line could, could have drawn Starbo into a falser sense of security to go and press advantage there. Yeah allowing for Akashi to find that reversal because all he needed was the one hit. And that type of like quick mental check, like 
dialing up, uh, allowing your opponent to consider dialing up the pressure just a little bit so you could find that reversal was very well played from Kashi. Though you cannot be risking some of these thunder lines because do so that low and that's a stock immediately. Either way, though, solid okay. stuff here from uh, from both players. Power is another one of those scary stages. Just these platform, the platform extensions you can get from here, but also having that really big dead zone in the middle where you either have to go from the top uh, platform or cover across the side. Um, uh, Starbos has been utilizing it pretty well, especially in previous tests we've seen specifically against Dan's. Um, but let's see how he can do against Akashi here. The closer quarters of Tower really benefiting Starburst right now, because all he's been trying to do is react and, res and play very responsive, which you can do when it comes to uh, a lot having actually to be in your burst range. But wow, Akashi finding a big, big opener there, being down to percent for so long, and then immediately taking the first stock is a big momentum swing. Maybe able to uh, take it back. Orkane has some really good anti-airs. And, of course, triple down strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've had it here. I'm tired. It's throwing a tantrum. It's like, go away. <laughs> Coverage. Not allowing Akashi to do exactly what he just got away with. Ooh, that was a weird hit of dash attack. That was, yeah, that was really weird. I, th I think it was like a hurtbox, like, shifting sort of thing, yeah. where he got, like, a middle hit, but not the end hit. Good awareness on both parts, though, just to roll with the punches, not able oh. to land. S tilt, not the, not the down tilt we've been seeing. You got uh, pretty small side blast zones, but not the smallest. Uh, these, like, aggressive recoveries from Akashi, and it was just not able to get anything off of it. Yeah, you've been going for them a ton here in this game, number four. Just like, I'm Thunderline straight back on the stage. Akashi's getting a little impatient, able to get the up tilt, uh, up tilt out of pair. The pee pee poo poo. Getting the Fortnite flash. Fortnite flash. <laughs> Isn't that F to uh, that's F to Oh, that's F to Sorry, that's true. Oh. Man, again, just zipping straight into him. Like, no remorse. And, like, honestly, for Starbos, while it definitely is boring, like, just throwing bubbles out there and consistently punishing them. It's scary. Ooh. Able to cover the... And that's Ooh. a stock. Wow. Game five. Our first game five of the block. Finally. And it ends up being in loser side, which, hey... That's the place to be if you want to start having game number fives. Let's see what we got going on here, though. We're we're winding back. We're considering. So we got no. It's what is it? No. Um. It's no trial pool and no jewels veil for Akashi. Yes. Yes. Oh, leaving Aramata open. Cannot use the other two. I mean. Aramata is really not a bad stage for Orkane, I'd argue. No. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. This is a tough one, but we are going to go to Treetop. The entire uh, Akashi has been fiending for reversals the entire set. And it gets closer and closer with, with every passing moment. But the pickup there from Starburst was great, but not able to find the extension. Yeah, these asymmetrical platforms are really, um, really off-putting in some areas because you... On one, on one hand, you have that really high platform that you can like cover from really well, but the, uh, the lower platform and just getting uh, safe flat traps from that is good because on one hand, you got really good kill, uh, kill options, and the other, you have really good control. And the east, uh, like because it's asymmetrical, it's really hard switching from one of those mindsets to the other. Trying, taking the jump, covering so much space here. Kashi finally getting a chance to work in this advantage state. But the long platform. Wow, Wait, what a commitment! That was, I mean, use yourself as the cannonball and finish off that stock number one. Starbo's saving so many of these reads for late in this set. Late, and the late commitments are honestly some of the most scary because that's when you turn all your information into value. Just seeing Akashi being really patient here, waiting for a bubble. You have to be. Just like, oh. If you start rushing in bear, on Arcane. The bear one dash attack, are you looking at it? Parry, getting caught. Good Let's attack go. on the bubble. Crouch cancel from Starbos and Ooh. getting the cloud pop into the upstrong. That was a clean pickup after the forward tilt as well. Very solid setup there from you're Akashi. Just looking, uh, you're just looking at Akashi cover this platform because you know, you know Starbos wants to go for it. And so, I. Getting the, the back air and that DI, DI was terrible. It was awful DI. It was horrid. That's like, oh. oh. 
trying to go for some coverage though. Akashi playing very quick. Looking for the setup. The down strong barely. What Holy. the heck? That was that was probably uh, Starbucks inputting a move. It didn't look like it moved at all. The covers again. Akashi in a good spot to... if he's able to take this stock. Yeah. He and gets the up air, able to recover back. We're at last stock, last hit, game three. Look at the look at the red particles. Game three, game five. Game, <laughs> I mean, final game, final stock, last moments before to see who is going to make it into top eight. They're able to keep their cool, keep it going. The first Akashi's one. just maintaining Inside. center stage here with the clouds. Uh, Starbucks is able to uh, get a hit off. Akashi's got to recover. Keeping wow. center stage here. Trying to, cold, trying to control. Again, heading right to the cloud, trying to be as safe as possible, but like, Puddle look, is there look at as it. well. This is, the, this is the plat drop I was talking about, just like covering these platforms. Cloud comes down again. What? This could be it. Starbucks looking really good, committing to the forward strong there, but not finding it, and Akashi gets back to center. Missing not the able to parry the teleport. The landing. Lands on stage, you can get back to the top platform or go for the raw down air. Akashi, greedy as ever when it comes to this set. Unable to find a starter though. Stark was being so oh. slippery, but that's oh. an up tilt. No follow up. It's tight. It continues to be so. Waiting off these platform forward tilt, but no up tilt after. It's so tense. Every moment it oh. gets dangerous, but not the stock yet. You went for an up air there? He is trying. Both of them and are the trying, but that is the stock. <laughs> the hardest read, knowing that Akashi wanted to go for the platform. And despite, despite surviving the second up tilt into up air by the skin of his teeth, Starbos finds the finisher and takes his place into top top eight. Holy moly! But we are in the. We're, I mean, that's <laughs> that means two things. One, we'll, ha we'll not have to change the commentary schedule. Woo! And Woo! two. Starbos is our, is the first, I think the first water character in top eight at this point. Because the, the remaining top eight qualifiers still need to be. Played. I mean, technically there's still ZB, but a f first official water yes. character. Yeah. Official. I mean, ZB's up in the air. ZB up in the air. <laughs> but still, wow. Like, Actually, ZB was on the ground for most of his set. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. We will get, I believe, one more. Are we round? I'm not sure if we're rounding out the remaining top 16 qualifiers, or what What's have going you. On? What is, are they like? Is he going into the lab on the stream setup? Bruh. Maybe. <laughs> it's like either way though. We I know for sure we will be getting the Rano Ditto up next, which is going to be Kodak and Lucius. Trying to figure out what's going to happen on the other stream if we're going to be rounding out everything on this stream or what's happening. We're working. We're talking. An enemy is right over there, and we are talking to her. We're okay. So we're actually. This is not our final set. This is. We're going through four of them. Three more. First one's down. 